we also recognize the fact that if government services are fully digitalized, then it does not make sense for members of the public to interact with the government by physically visiting government services, uh, government offices, and identifying themselves using the current identity card in its manual form. So the other frontier that we are pursuing is to ensure that we have a digital identity for all Kenyans. And it is our estimation that if we embark on that process as soon as possible, we should have all Kenyans having a digital identity by February next year. So that we are, government is able to identify whom it is transacting business with virtually. And Kenyans also will then be able to transact business with government from the comfort of wherever they are, without necessarily having to visit government offices. And perhaps this would be one of the easiest ways, ladies and gentlemen, of also doing away with the traffic jams we are witnessing in most of our towns, because we have got a critical mass of Kenyans going into town, visiting government services to consume or to uptake those services. We believe that through that digital identity, we should have an optimal level of uptake of government services digitally from wherever somebody is, not just within the country, but beyond those resident abroad as well.